Hi, welcome to How to Repair. In this video, I'll be showing you how to enter test mode on an LG washing machine that has a display panel without the control knob. Now, this is very different to the other machines. On other machines, you have to press two buttons while pressing the on off, and you can see that in another video, which I'll put a link at the end. On this machine, it's totally different, as I said. Make sure the drum is empty, shut the door. You have to press the on off button, and then within one second, you need to press the wash and the rinse button at the same time. This now enters diagnostic mode. The first step, you heard a click. That is checking the door lock. It is also illuminating all the LEDs, so you can actually make sure they're working, and it's showing you the software version in the screen here. Now, the first couple of steps are all to do with the motor action. So if we press start, the machine now is doing a clockwise rotation at 45 RPM. Stage two, press it again. This now will do 50% of the maximum spin speed, thereabouts. It may vary from model to model, but it normally goes up to about 600-700 RPM. Now this actual screen here is not showing the actual uh, 590 RPM that it's doing, it's just showing 5.9. Sometimes it will be showing you the exact RPM, and on other machines it won't be. When we press the third time, this now is showing you 100% of the spin capability. Right, the next stage is going through to actually testing the water valves and you need to watch the video at the end of this to understand the numbers that will come up in the display. I'll briefly explain them as we go through the video. The machine will shut down and then it will start filling. But on the dial here you can see 255. That is the frequency value of an empty drum on these machines and I explain all that in the other video. You can hear water now going into the machine, and if you open the drawer, you will see that the water is going in on the pre-wash valve. There are only two valves on this machine. Pressing it again will go into the left hand, which is the main wash valve. Now this number will continue dropping now until it gets to its bottom level, which is 229, I believe, on this machine. The frequency is actually the way the pressure switch tells the machine what level of water it is at and therefore is able to control the water valves by turning them on and off as required. Step 7 has to be activated before it reaches 229. The reason for this, if it reaches the maximum fill level, it will not activate the pump on the next sequence. So I'm advancing it forward now before the water turns off. You can actually hear the recirculation pump and if you look closely through this smoked glass, you would actually see a trickle of water coming down into the machine. Step 8 is actually an anti-clockwise rotation at 45 RPM. That's checking the other rotation of the motor. At the beginning of this video it was checking the clockwise rotation. Now step 9 is the heater. And the heater you would not normally hear coming on because it's only activated for a couple of seconds. But what you will see when we press the button is the temperature of the water on the actual drum. That's checking the NTC sensor. And on a digital display, you can get these very cheaply on Amazon or wherever. Uh, they're meters to actually monitor electrical usage on appliances. You would actually see the heater coming on. And I'll actually do a blow-up version of this here for you so you can actually see the heater coming on. Pressing it again. Temperature 15 degrees and you saw the element come on for a couple of seconds there just while it was actually energizing to make sure that the circuit was good. At this point if you had a problem with the heating system it would show an error actually on the display. And then the next one is step uh, 10 and that is just emptying the machine. This will continue emptying now from 232 all the way down to the original status which was two, uh, 255. And you can see it rising now as the water empties and this is what tells the actual uh, the pressure switch tells the program what level of water the machine is at and this is how they're able to do such accurate washes when with regards uh, saving water and making sure the machine is very economic to run as you can see now the machine has reached 255 and you can hear that the pump is cavitating that means there's no water in the machine and it's finished emptying when you press the start button again the machine will turn off I hope this video is useful to you. 
I've done other detailed videos at the end of this video which will show you more in depth with regards to the heating system and the pressure sensing system. Please remember to use the website for any parts that you require as that's what keeps us going and able to make these videos for you and in the description below I've put links to other videos on these LG machines.